dear children let us start the class today we are going to learn about counting by tens and place value okay so the main topics for today are counting by tens and place value so these are the two important topics from the third chapter numbers okay so before starting the class let us recall what we have learned in the previous class in the previous class we have learned about single or one digit number so what is one digit number having only one number all the numbers from 0 to 9 are known as single or one digit number all right and all the numbers from 10 to 99 are known as two digit number because there are two numbers all right we have learned about smallest and largest number all right and we have learned about the value of zero so zero means when there are no objects or no items are there to count then we place the number zero that means it has no value but if you put a number before zero it has got a bigger value suppose i put a 1 in front of zero it becomes 10 If I put two zeros and I put a number in front, it becomes hundred. So the value increases when we put a number before zero. Not only one, you can place any number from one to nine. But if only single zero is there, that means it has no value, no objects to count, no items. That means there is no number there. All right. Today we are going to count by tens. Okay, so what is mean by counting by tens? Before starting that, can you see this object? This object you got this shape you got in the first chapter shape. Okay, that uh, the name of the shape in the first chapter is known as cube. We have taken the same shape here, and in the chapter number it is known as block. B L O C K block. And what is the value here? The value of one block is one. Okay, so what is the value of one block? The value of one block is one. Similarly, I have taken ten blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what will be the value? The value will be ten. Okay, so this is how we count the numbers by tens. Okay, so. Let us look a small example here. I have taken here one, two, three, four, five boxes. In the boxes, there are some smileys, some emojis are there. You know, you have seen smileys on your mobile phones, on your computer. Okay, so here the in, inside the box, some emojis are there. So let us count them. So how many in the first box? How many emojis are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to write here ten. Okay. In the second box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. In the third box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten here. All right. in the next two boxes there is only one one emoji here okay so now i am going to add all the numbers okay so 10 plus 10 plus 10 it becomes 30 all right then plus we add the number 1 and 1 1 plus 1 we get 2 so the value becomes 32 okay so in this way we can count the numbers Whether if it is one digit or it is there is uh, double digit or two digit number, all right. So now the number thirty two we got. Now we can express the number in a little different way, okay. And that uh, expressing of number is known as place value. So what do we mean by place value? Every number it has got a value on which position or location it is. Okay, that value is known as place value. In the place value, we got now here in the two numbers, thirty-two. There are two digit number, so it is a two two numbers involved. So it is a two digit number, and we have to express the number using the place value chart. 
So the two will come in the ones place. And the three will come in the tens place. Okay. That means two is one. And the three is in the tens. Okay. So two is one. And three is in the tens place. Alright. So the capital O means ones. And capital T means tens. Okay. And when we are writing the number in a place value chart, we always start from the right hand side. Okay. Ones, two, tens, three. So this is known as place value chart. And we can express a two digit number using the box. This box I have made uh, two columns here. And the titles are ones and tens. Alright. So we can count the numbers by tens. See we have counted the number by tens. Also by ones, and we can express the number in a place value chart. This is a place value chart. O is for ones, capital T is for tens. Okay, so the new words you learn today are place value, ones, and tens. Okay, the new words you learn today are place value, ones, and tens. Alright, so let us wind up. How do we count a number by 10? We can use the blocks. This is an example of how we are counting. That means one block, block represents 1. Similarly, 10 blocks represent 10. And if sometimes pictures are given there, then we can express as 1, 0. Okay? So 10 plus 10 plus 10, it becomes 30. The 30, that means if it is a two-digit number, and the last number is 0, that it means we are counting by 10. Alright? So, after adding all these emojis, we got 32. The same number I have taken and expressed in a place value chart. Place value means it defines the value of the number uh, or the position of the number. So, the two position we have learned is 1s and 10s. So, what will come in the 1s place? 2 what will come in the tens place? 3. So this is a way of expressing in a place value chart. Okay. So with this I conclude my video. Thank you and have a nice day.